So before I start this tutorial, I just want us to sing a happy birthday song. So three, two, one, let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So that's what we are going to be doing in this tutorial. We are just going to be designing a very simple but beautiful birthday design in Canva. And I just want to show you how I made it inside of Canva. So don't go anywhere. Let's pull this out and let's get started with it. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think you should subscribe. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. I really appreciate you for your continued support. So without any further ado, let's jump into Canva and let's get started. All right, so this is what we have at the moment. And you can see it's actually so, so, so easy. You don't have to struggle at all. That's true. and Yeah, that's true. The first thing we have to do is, or I have to do is, I just have to click on this, add a new page for a blank canvas, okay? Now, after you find a blank canvas the next thing you'd want to do is to come into photos or if you have you know a photo of the person you're trying to celebrate you can you know import that into canvas so i'll just find any stock image okay so i would come into photos and in photos i will just make sure i'm on the recently used because i just have some beautiful images in there i also want to use so i'll just use this image because i didn't stop it get some help so I'll just use this image. I think this image fits whatever we are trying to do. So I'll increase the size of the image and I'll just drop it somewhere here. Then I'll just duplicate it and that's what you need to do. Just duplicate the image. Make sure you're coming into edit photo. So just in case you're on the free version of Canva, I just want you to know that there's a link in the description box below that can help you start using Canva Pro for free. And also I have some free templates in there plus some workshop recordings that can really, really help you to improve on your Canva skills. Make sure to be taking advantage of these links. So let's dive into Canva and let's continue with whatever we were doing. Okay, so I will just position the image in here like this. Make sure you're coming into element and in element, all you need to search for is clouds. Okay, so we'll come into element and we'll just search for clouds. Okay, yeah. So we can see we have a number of clouds over here. But one thing I realized is if we search for cloud, we actually get a lot of white clouds. Okay, so I will just come into photos and click on see all. Then we have these nice clouds in here. Okay, so make sure you're using white clouds to be able to do what we have to do next. Just click on, you know, add a page and we'll just move this in here. Okay, so and I would want us to see whatever we are doing. So make sure you're coming to background color and changing it to any color at all. Okay, so. So you just want to be duplicating this a number of times and just place it okay duplicate again and place it in there like that then select all and use ctrl g okay to group everything then another thing is you can add more you know variations or more samples to the clouds so i'll duplicate this position here duplicate position here select all and use ctrl g to group okay then i select all and move it over here nice nice so this is what we are going to do let's make sure we are cropping this because we also do not want our image to be taking up all the space okay so we'll crop it like that and position maybe this here you can rotate it you know slightly nice one okay then duplicate it okay duplicate it again maybe you can also position this over here then we have this also so i can rotate it making sure we are hiding all the um hard edges okay or all the yeah hard edges i think that's the right way i can call them for now so i will position this here and i'll send them behind the image you know which has its background removed okay so maybe i'll just copy some of the variations over here and bring it here so i'll just paste it and move it up and move it up over here okay then i can just send it behind this girl over here so you can do this several times until you're very okay with whatever you have okay so i think something like this is beautiful and this is the main meat of this particular tutorial so the next thing is you know just wrapping it up the next thing we have to do is to come here and search for confetti okay so c-o-n-f-e-t-t-i 
and there are so many conferences in here so you can take some from here you can also come into graphics and you can also you know have a lot of conferences in here so what we'll just need to do is also to come back into um elements and just search for happy birthday okay so you should see a lot of happy birthday designs you can choose any of them so um i just i think this is the one i like i'll choose this and hit it over here i'll come into the color and change the color to maybe a yellow you know if just in case you wanted to match or any color at all of your choice but we'll leave it like this i'll bring the confetti on top okay and duplicate it then i'll just move it down over here and you don't to be rotating it if you want and uh, we would have more confettis in here so instead of having a lot of these confettis we'll just add more variations so confetti okay so you can see we are creating something very very beautiful so i would come into photos and i may want to use the ones in here so position them here make them bigger okay and send it behind the lady okay nice one now bring this down a little bit okay because you don't want your stuff to be overclouded at the top over here so we have something like this and i'll move this up a little bit press t on your keyboard okay to add a text and move it down over here so i'll just say happy birthday and we'll just put her name over here so i'll just use um any name at all so let's say her name is you know jennifer okay Tessin. okay so let's see this was her name so we'll just say happy birthday jennifer Tessin. lovely over here then what we can also do is to add you know some birthday wishes over here so i'll just type in something i would love to say fantastic so all i just had to say is may the not may the may your new age bring you all the joy and peace you deserve we love you so this is something we can create and we'll just have it in here so you can center it okay depending on how you want it to look like okay so you can just center it and i'll move it over here and uh, maybe move this up and i can also you know rotate it depending on how i want things to look like okay so this is what we have and i think yeah this is how i made this tutorial and i hope you found it helpful one more thing i would want to say is that you can even find this template for free the link can be found in the description box below and don't forget you can use canva pro and there are some workshop i had some time ago which you can also watch the recordings for free so the name is benjamin don't forget there's no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next tutorial yeah I started on a 50 mil lens now i'm about to bag 50 mil yen i can shoot all day i got stamina turtleneck on with my camera yeah stay creamy man that's what they say